and welcome back to Let's Play Mother 3. Alright, so, uh, guess we're continuing through the Empire Porky building. So what's waiting for us on this floor? Oh god, it's you guys again. Hmm. You know what? Sure, why not? We could always use a bit more oxygen. Oh god, I don't think we've ever seen it from that angle before. Well, I feel better. Who else is around here? I uh, hmm. Not... no. Yeah, maybe we shouldn't stay in this room for too long. This is a... A very strange room. I think that's actually a direct reference to something from Earthbound. Because I think they mentioned that as his favorite food in Earthbound, too. Okay, yeah, let's get out of here. There's not really much to do on this floor. There's not even any treasure we can grab. We'll get there eventually, we just need to keep heading up. As long as we keep going up, we'll reach the top floor eventually. Assumedly. Actually, spoilers, the 100th floor is below us the entire time. We're actually in the 150th floor. Alright, let's see, is this the 100th floor? Well, there's a refresher? Actually, no, we do need to heal up. Here, let's heal up before we move forward. That was nice of Porky to leave that for us. You know what, maybe he's not that bad of a guy. No, he is that bad of a guy, but that's fine. Alright, so what do we got here? Oh, do I need to say- Ah, uh, yeah. Now we literally just saved. We don't really need money anymore, either. Oh. This is the bathroom floor. Well, let's just go to the one by- Oh, hi there! Okay, yeah, to be fair, I- did interrupt him while he was pooping. You know what? Actually, while I'm here, tell me. What do you think about this trivia question? Ah, the Civil War. Congratulations, you got it. Alright, but let's take care of this guy. We're being extremely rude to him, but you know what? That's fine. It's not our fault he was in our way. I mean, he attacked me. But yeah, basically if you- oh god, don't look in there. But basically if you go into the wrong doors, you'll have to face enemies. I think as long as you get out, like, immediately you can escape. Eh, I don't really want that. Next time we see item guy, we'll throw that away. But yeah, basically this is a maze. We just need to find the right door that will let us out of here. I think it's usually the far left or the far right doors. Nope, bye. But man, who needs this many bathrooms? Apparently that guy. That guy needs this many bathrooms. That's the way forward is- oh god! I completely forgot that sometimes the men room signs attack you. That actually surprised me. I completely forgot these are enemies in this game. Oh, mm, that's actually- oh wait, no, wait, no, that's not annoying at all. Because I just remembered. We can use this for something other than bosses. Eh, you wasted your turn. But yeah, I do want to see if I can go into every single door just to grab what's in there. Because there are some pretty good treasures uh, in this area. Like a honey shower. That's not that great, actually. But it does provide us with a way to use bees. Here, actually, yeah, you don't want that. Uh, give it a... Uh... Okay, I just realized I have no inventory space right now. Oops. Can I just... I don't want to throw that away. Okay, fine. Uh, item guy? We have a problem. Hmm. If I have to, I'll start throwing away a few things. Like, yeah, I don't need an attack attractor, to be honest. 
I never use these, ever. They're just not really worth it. No one's tanky enough to just want to take extra hits. I can't throw this away, can I? I can. Never mind, I can't. Okay, that's fine. We'll do our inventory stuff later. Oh, it is a Japanese style toilet. Oh, that's a nice little touch. That's a duck. Oh, it's one of those like uh training potties that you sometimes see in anime. Are those a real thing? Okay, that's a huge toilet. Guys, I have to pee. Hi there, um... You know, you're supposed to sit on the bottom part of the toilet, right? Actually, no, I guess he is kind of... Oh, yeah, I think he is sitting... No, wait, wait. He is sitting on the toilet, but he's doing it with his pants on. Oh. Am I interrupting? Oh, yeah. I forgot about you guys. Well, good to know you made it to the big city. And it's good to know these things are still hostile. Also, yeah, I really should be getting more back sprites, but we're like at the final chapter, it doesn't matter anymore. Anyways, give me your shield. There he goes. Is this considered vandalism? I think it's more self-defense, because technically the sign attacked me. Oh god. Oh, he is guarding something, though. Yeah, there's no way to avoid this. Wait, what? Wait, what? Um, okay. Whatever you say, game. I have no idea how I got a back attack on that guy, but whatever. I didn't even move left or right. The game just kind of spawned him right in front of me. No. Oh, I was kind of hoping I'd get a sneak attack. Do I just go overkill? No, we should not go overkill. Oh, we could use Thunder uh, Gamma, though. The Roach doesn't really bother me at all. He doesn't do really that much damage at all. I just want to end the battle before that time bomb goes off. I do like that the, the uh, different levels of Thunder do have different, like, uh, graphical effects. When the Thunder actually hits. Like, they feel more powerful as these spell levels up. Also, yeah, I think we are going to hit level 60 by the end of the game. That's actually kind of surprising. Ooh, that's actually... I think that's Boney's ultimate collar. Oh, actually, I have a problem. Uh, hmm. Who wants some grilled chicken? Nobody can have grilled chicken. Yeah, I really should start using healing items. Actually, you know what? Let's have a little bit of bread. I've been holding on to these since, like, chapter 4, by the way. Wait, is everyone fully healed? Uh, here you go, Duster. I kind of wish there was a trade option, though. So that I could just trade her for the collar. Wait, you were the one with the collar, right? Oh, wait, I'm looking at Duster's inventory. Whoops. Oh, there it is. So yeah, this is Boney's uh, best armor in the game. And you can... Oh, right, we have to equip it. And you can only find it in the bathroom. Awesome. Uh, we can throw away his old hat now, or his old uh, collar now. We don't need it anymore. I think someone clogged the toilet. Just... Oh, whoop. Why'd I go back in there? Just a hunch. So that's the way forward. Alright. We're gonna be a bit wanna be a bit careful for this one, cuz yeah. We were gonna wanna be careful about this because. I 
Oh, wait, I'm thinking of a different door. Never mind. Yeah, we can't go into the flooding door. Uh... Rude. You know... Maybe they shouldn't have this many bathrooms. Tends to make people a bit weird. I'm gonna save real quick. Because I'm gonna want to be careful in this next hallway, I think. Because there's one hallway in this maze that we're gonna want to be a bit careful in. And I believe this is it. Because I think if we go into this door... That's a familiar sound, isn't it? So yeah, as long as we don't open the door, we're safe. But, I want to get in there, so... Hi! Bye! Can I go in now? Nope, bye! I'm leaving! So yeah, uh, that's the ultimate chimera again. And just like before, if he touches us, we're dead. I'm moving. One second. I need to reset his position. Anyways, you don't actually have to unleash him, but I want to because I want to grab this. And I want to leave right now. Bye. Alright then. I'm kind of glad I didn't die immediately. But yeah, if you don't like turn around and leave right away, he just it gives you an instant game over. But we do get... Oh, wait. Uh... Okay, that wasn't even remotely worth it, apparently. Actually, no, it is worth it. Oh, yeah, you know what? It is worth it. I want the PP more than the defense. Alright, what do you not need? Honestly, we... Uh... Hmm, I kind of want all of these. Yeah, maybe I should have thought of actually making some inventory space. Oh wait, never mind, we can just do this. Give that to Boney, and then we'll give uh, Lucas the awesome ring. Because I want the PP more than the 5 defense. Anyways, so yeah, we're just going to want to be careful about the right side of these, uh, this hallway. It's kind of death right now. Ew. Alright, but I think we're done. Okay, yeah, I think we're done. Oh my god. I I forgot about the peeing porky statues. You know what? This entire building was a mistake. Well, elevator time. Again. You know what? I don't want to know what those signs are. It's poop. There's probably poop in there. Let's just get out of this floor. I do like the bathroom floor, though. It's a fun floor. Surprisingly, there aren't very many enemies in this dungeon. Despite how long it is. Alright, I think this looks like a hundredth floor. I mean, there's... sand. Why is there sand in here? Also, this theme does sound really familiar. Because, yeah, we just found the Gypsy House in the middle of the Empire Porky building. Anyways, before we head to the elevator, let's take a look inside. Those are bananas. Those are horns. Also, free razor and uh, lipstick. So, yeah. We found the last Magipsy. It's Lorica's. A.K.A. Facade. That does kind of explain why he would never die. Well, then the fact that he kept getting revived as a robot. But yeah, Facade was the last Magipsy. 
And there are a ton of bananas in this room that I can't grab right now. We really need to get, make our way back to item guy. Actually, ah, uh, oh, whoops. I'm debating if I want to backtrack to the bottom floor, but nah, just for bananas, nah. We have plenty of chicken. We can always just come back and grab them if we really need to. Hmm. Now I feel kind of bad about the whole killing him thing. But yeah, that would explain how they knew about the needles. They kind of recruited one of the Magipsies. Okay, he probably just defected to their side. But yeah, that's a nice little touch. I know there's a plenty of foreshadowing throughout the game, but I can't remember any off the uh, top of my head. Alright, where are we now? We are... This floor doesn't look finished. Alright, I think we are getting pretty far up into the building though, because it looks like they haven't actually finished this floor yet. Yep, they have definitely not finished this floor yet. I'm okay with this. Oh, crap. I was kind of hoping the other one wouldn't join. This is fine. I have the power of thunder. But yeah, we're going to be facing a lot of robot enemies on this floor, so shocking them is going to be very effective. Okay, I swear, I've never had thunder hit that many times before for me. And Kumtor is crying. Uh, you know what, that's fine. We'll fix her in a bit. As long as Duster and Lucas don't cry, we should be fine. They're the hard hitters. Actually, I forget. Uh, does cry stay on the world map? No, it doesn't. Okay. Oh, wait, what? I didn't even see you there. I can fix this. But yeah, I do like that this building isn't completely finished yet. I think we might have come here a bit too early for their whole master plan. Unfinished buildings, I don't know, I always like the aesthetic of, like, scenes that take place in them for some reason. I don't know why. And now everyone's crying. Great. Except for Boney. Boney's the only non-cry baby here. Do you want to heal everyone? Ah. Nah. Actually, if we just stick to PSI, I think we'll be fine. Because it doesn't affect the uh, hit rate of PSI attacks. Okay, yeah, we definitely want to watch our step. I have no fault. I have no idea how high up we are, but falling from this high is probably bad no matter what happens. Anyways, I just wanted to get a couple free hits in there. Actually, can I make him turn around again? There we go. I do like that Duster can basically stun lock enemies by making them constantly turn around. Hmm. Well. That is true. You should never run in a construction site. But. We need to move forward. I feel really bad about this. This is fine. Okay, yeah, we probably shouldn't do that anymore. Whoops. You okay there, buddy? Eh, he'll be fine. 
I'm sure Porky is paying them. Actually, no, knowing Porky, he's probably not paying them at all. Also, what the heck, Porky? Why do you have this on your construction site? Everything else at least made sense about what they were doing. They're there basically to... I don't know, uh... Help with the construction and with, like, machines and stuff. What is this thing doing here? Actually, you know what? I just thought of one use of that thing and I don't want to go out down this road anymore. Also, yeah, apparently this area is made of wood. Anyways, before we move forward, is there anything over here we can grab? Man, I feel really bad now about that guy. Oh well. Also, yeah, we do need to watch Akumator's uh, PP. Well, we do have PP healing items, so I think we'll be fine. Actually, yeah, Thunder... Uh, Thunder Gamma might be a bit overkill at this point. Oh well, it'll be fine. I'm sure we'll find a revitalizing machine sooner or later. Or a hot spring. I miss the hot springs already. Oh, I want pizza. Alright, let's start eating. Uh, who wants... Actually, let's get... Yeah, let's start going through our bread rolls. Uh, we'll give one to Lucas. Why do you still have this, by the way? I thought I used that a while ago. Okay, there we go. Anyways, we got ourselves some pizza. Pretty good healing item. Man, now I miss the pizza deliveries from Earthbound. Why can't we have mock pizza in this world? Oops. What's this thing do? Oh yeah, well I'm a rebel. Poke. Okay, maybe we're the baddies. That's what, three people we've endangered to move forward? You know what, maybe, yeah, maybe Porky was right. Maybe we're the bad guys. Also, I like how we're doing this without just saying a single word to them. We're just quietly walking by. Well, quietly stomping by. You know what, let's also start using some uh, attack items. I'm gonna throw a bomb. We're fine. Oh, actually that's really bad, because I just remembered, uh... We just queued up some PSI attacks. This is fine. Ow. Lucas might have... Okay, yep, Lucas just took lethal damage. Uh, let's just finish this thing off before we, uh, lose Lucas. Thank you. But yeah, Thunder actually does pierce through PSI counter. Love does not. It reflects half the damage back at you, and with love, that's a lot of damage. I need a little bit of healing. I'm gonna have some unspeakable pasta. Uh, dead end. Oh, wow, I actually snuck by that thing. Nice. Angel gloves. Oh, I think those are Kumatora's ultimate weapon. Not that she'll really be using them from this point forward, but it's always nice to have her attack. She is actually surprisingly good at attacking. Everyone in this game is. Actually, she is technically stronger than Boney in terms of just punching things. Poor Boney. I really wish they had made him a bit better in terms of stats. Wait. Porky, you're like 12 in the last game. Why are you wearing dentures? But yeah, like I was saying, I kind of wish Boney was a little bit better. 
He's just kind of the worst at every stat except for speed, just naturally. And he doesn't get the equipment to offset that. But still, he's our best boy, so who cares? Anyways, I would say we're about halfway through the new Porky, or the Empire Porky building. Yeah, I think we're going to end things off here, because there's still plenty to go. I wasn't kidding when I said it would take like two or three videos just to get through this dungeon. But yeah, we'll just stop here then. So next time on Let's Play uh, Mother 3, I guess we're going to do the second half of this building. Actually, I'm just going to take a quick peek into the other room. I just want to see where I am right now. Oh, we're in this section. Okay. We'll explore that next time then. So, till then.